So I just got out of the shower. And it's really funny because when I jumped in the shower, I wanted to make a video about intuition. And I was really excited about it. But when I was in the shower, I heard my inner voice say to me, Aaron, rinse off with cold water. And immediately I was like, no way. I'm not rinsing off with cold water. That's nuts. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I've never done that in my entire life because I don't care for cold water. Um, it was interesting this morning, my kids was pouring outside. My kids were begging me to go outside. I was like, no, I don't want to go outside and get wet. And they were begging, begging, begging. And finally I realized, well, of course, if they want to go outside and play in the rain, their kids, they like to get wet. Sure. I can take them outside in the rain. They want to be kids. And I want to encourage them to be kids. So we went outside in the rain and it was cold, but they had so much fun. They were, they were running, splashing, jumping. They were just having a blast. We even started using our sprinkler too on top of the rain. It was, it was so much fun. But normally when we're outside and the kids want to splash me with water or anything, I'm like, ah, <laughs> you know, because I don't want to get wet because it's cold. I feel like it's, even if it's a hundred degrees outside, it still feels cold. So I'm like, no way. So when I heard this voice in the shower, which is my inner voice, um, my inner guidance, I'm like, no way I don't want to get cold. Why, why would you su suggest that? But anyway, my inner voice talked me into it. And so I did it. I got all soapy and sudsy. And then I turned off all the hot water. And okay, at first I said to myself, oh my God, this feels horrible. It is so cold. I don't like this. I realized, oh, that's just my perception, right? Is the cold really any different than the hot? It's just a different experience that I'm not used to having. So the reality is the cold isn't any better or worse than uh, the hot or the warm, but I am so used to, I am so conditioned that warm is normal, that when cold is suggested to me or to my skin, I'm like, ah! <laughs> So anyway, instead I flip my thoughts, which is what I teach people to do all the time, right? You, your thoughts are so powerful. Your thoughts are everything. Your intention is everything. So I flipped my thoughts and I started telling myself, I love the cold water. It feels so invigorating. And so I actually got into it. It only took about 10, 15 seconds. And I was actually really enjoying the cold. I still was sort of screaming the whole time. Ah, ah this is so great. <laughs> but So it's, it's just a really cool little lesson about perception versus reality. Just because we're used to something being normal for us, it doesn't mean that that is the only, uh, only way to do something, right? And it doesn't mean that it's necessarily the best way. And often when we're getting ready to have a big shift in our lives, we get very, very uncomfortable because we're butting up against that thing that is foreign to us, that isn't part of our normal perception, but is part of the greater reality. And so that uncomfortability is coming from you about, you're about to shift to a little bit of a higher level of experiencing reality from more vantage points than you have normally experienced reality. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I think it was so powerful for me and I recommend you go take a cold shower. It's really all about being in the moment, right? It's about not, not, um, not basically putting any limits on yourself because of what you have known, what you've experienced or what you've been told in your past. But instead being in the present moment and saying, what is possible for me to experience right now without any of those labels? And you might really, really surprise yourself about what's possible for you and what you actually like, because I guarantee you, you have not experienced everything there is to experience in this amazing universe we live in. There is so much more. There's always more. And you are here to experience and live to the fullest. And if you're staying safe with those things that you are used to experiencing, then you never get to branch out and become the unlimited person you, that you're here to be. So all my love to you guys. Have a beautiful week.